In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some great techniques for styling bags. I will take you through all the angles and some techniques that you need to show off the bag. I've used some nylon string to hold those handles up for this bag. After that, you will go ahead and place the bag in the angle you want. My first image is going to be a three-quarter shot of the bag. So just place it in the three-quarter angle that you like it to be. If you shoot multiple bags, make sure all the angles are the same with the help of an overlay or if you want to do some markings on the table. Once the bag is in place in the right angle, then make sure you look at all the little details. Handbags normally have a lot of details on hardware and it's really important to make them look neat. I would also go ahead and spray the bag with some canned air just to get those dust particles away. If there's a lot of hardware, you might need a cloth to polish them. Then for this tag, it would naturally hang like that. I would go in, add a little bit of double-sided tape, place it a tiny bit more to the left so it's not covering our second detail, the zip over here. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and place a little bit closer to the bag and give it a nice curve. Make sure the hardware up here is lined up along the zip. Lastly, we also have a long strap for this bag. There's many ways you can choose to show the long strap. You could have it in front of the bag if you want to, or you can have it behind like I've done here. The reason I've chosen to have it at the back is because with this particular bag style, there's so many details at the front, I feel like if I would have the strap at the front, it would cover most of them. That's my three quarter shot done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do our next shot, which is gonna be a straight on front shot. The most important thing to remember when doing a straight on shot is that the bag is straight to the camera. You don't want it to lean forward or backwards. I can see here that my bag is leaning slightly forward, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the nylon string so it sits up straighter. So I've now adjusted the angle of the bag so it's sitting a lot straighter. Then one thing that I can already see from here is that the handles are not level. So the back handle is sticking up in front of the front one. And I prefer to not see that. I think it looks much more professional if they are leveled out. Then we're gonna go in and focus on our details of the bag. I'm gonna place this like we had it for the three quarter, a little bit closer to the bag. Make sure this is still with a double-sided tape and the zip and closing up here is neat. After that, I'm gonna style the long strap. Here, for this shot, you still want to show that there's a long strap. One variety would be to swirl it around to the front. You can keep this in place with a bit of double-sided tape. Then I want to hide the back of the strap you can either do that by using tape or you can just place anything on top of it that would hold it and hide it. That looks really nice. The only thing I can see on the screen is that this zip is not straight. So I'm gonna try and tidy that up. I'm really happy with this now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture. My next shot is gonna be the detail shot. When shooting the detail shot, just have a good look at the bag and think about what is it I actually want to highlight. What is the main detail that you want to show off of the bag? In this case, with this red bag here, I think the key things are the tag and the zip here. So a nice detail would be a crop into that. So I'm going to keep the bag in the same position and I'm going to crop into that. Sometimes your bag will have a really interesting lining with a nice pattern or something. So always look inside if there's anything you would like to show in there as well to your customer. The last shot I'm gonna do is a back shot of the bag. I think a back shot is really important as your customer will want to see what the front looks like and also what the back looks like. I think for the back shot, since we've already shown the long strap in both the three quarter front shot and the straight on front shot, we can remove that. If the straps are removable, I think it's really good to show that either as a detail or by taking it off for the back shots, so people understand that it can be worn with or without the strap. 
For the back shot, I would think about the same things as the front shot, that the bag is sitting straight towards the camera and it's not leaning to the front or back. Level the handles out and make sure all your details, those small things are in place. If you style a bag like this, um, that doesn't hold its shape as well and it's a bit sloucher in the style, you might want to use a bit of stuffing to hold it up. Stuff it enough for it to hold its shape, but don't overstuff it as it looks really stiff and not natural. I'm going to style this exactly the same way as I did with the red one, covering all the different angles and also making sure I photograph the various details and the straps. Pay attention to the details. Look out for the straps, the hardware, and use stuffing when you need. Different bags require different techniques, but remember, the most important thing is to keep a clear consistency across your website.